Hi everyone, Matthew Bro here, Director of Impulse Control. I just wanted to say thank you again so much for your continued support. If you look, we're getting really close to hitting our goal and that's all thanks to you guys. We're also really close to our deadline. Kickstarter has started listing us in hours instead of days. It's time for the final push and we need to ask for your help one more time. If you could please share our Kickstarter project with just one person, by email, by Facebook, by Twitter, by phone, please help us just to get our material out there. We have a new sizzle trailer that is attached to this update. Take a look. We think it's pretty cool. Thank you again so much for your support. We're so excited to get this movie made and we're so excited that you could all be a part of it. Have a wonderful day and please help us to spread the word. Thanks. Bye. I have a thank you joke to thank you for donating to our Kickstarter. This is the story of the Hunchback of Notre Dame. Now, once there was this Hunchback who lived in Notre Dame and he had no arms and he couldn't get a job, but he needed to support his sick mother. So one day he goes to the cathedral and he knocks on the door with his shoulder, bang, 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 and the door's open and the priest comes out and the priest says, my son, what can I do for you? And the Hunchback says, I need a job. I, I, I have a sick mother at home. I need to support her. I'm a hard worker. I need a job. And the priest looks at him and he says, well, I'd love to help you, my son, but what can you do? You, you have no arms. And the hunchback says, you know what? I can ring the bell in the tower. I know I can do that. And the priest says, how are you going to do that? You, you don't have any arms. You can't pull. And it, no, no, don't worry about it. Not one to be deterred. The hunchback rushes past and he flies up the stairs to the top of the bell tower. And he says to the priest, okay, it's three o'clock. If I could ring this bell three times, you've got to give me this job. And the priest goes, oh, what are you going to do? And the hunchback gets to the very back of the tower and he gets a running start and he leaps and he smashes his face up against the bell. And the bell rings loud and clear all across Notre Dame. And the priest is watching this, oh my gosh, didn't that hurt your face? Are you okay? And the hunchback's a little dazed, but he says, no, no, it hurts a little, but I can do this. I can do this. I need this job to support my mother. Please, please, watch. I'll show you again. The priest goes, no, 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 no. Don't show me again. It, uh, that must hurt so bad. But the hunchback won't listen, and he gets to the back of the room, and he gets a running start, and he leaps, and he smashes his face against the bell again, and it rings loud and clear. And he's, he's a little dizzy now, and the bells swing wildly back and forth from hitting it. He goes, oh my God, please stop. I can't have you doing that. I, I wouldn't be able to live with myself knowing that every day you were, you were doing that to your face. Hunchback looks at him very seriously and he says, I need this job. I need to take care of my mother. Would you please just, it's three o'clock. If I can do it one more time and make the bell ring, you'll just have to give me the job. And the priest goes, I don't know. I really don't know. But the hunchback doesn't wait for an answer. He gets to the back of the room. He runs, the bell swinging. He leaps and he misses the bell and he falls out and slams, smacks onto the ground below and he dies. And the priest is going, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what's happened? Oh, I can't believe this. So he runs down the tower and out into the street. Now by the time he's gotten there, a crowd has gathered and they're gathered around the hunchback and they're looking at his body there and they're saying, who is this man? And they, and they look to the priest and they say, who is this man? And the priest says, I don't know, but his face rings a bell.